Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem design parking system. And a quick self plug, I actually have a detailed solution of the object oriented design problem variation of this designing a parking lot on neatcode.io if you want to check it out and support me. Now let's get into the problem and this one is definitely going to be smaller in scope. We're designing a parking system that is very limited so I wouldn't really call it a design but we're given three parameters which tell us the number of big parking spots, the number of medium parking spots, spots and the number of small parking spots and in a real parking lot we know like if these are a bunch of the parking spots sometimes like a big truck will come up and take several of them so thankfully in the context of this problem we don't really have to worry about that but I do talk about that solution in like the actual design problem that I solved on the site but in this case we're given a discrete set of parking spot types so like let's say these are the small types these are the big types but in this problem we're just given a number for how many parking spots we have of each type and we're also given car types, which in this case, a big car is going to map to one, a medium car is going to map to two, and a small car is going to map to three. So it's kind of an opposite order. You'd rather have it maybe going in the other direction, but oh well. And to make it even more simple, we don't even have to worry about removing cars. Basically, we're going to be given a car type and we want to know, do we have enough space to add it or not? I think the easiest way to solve this problem is to have an array. Let's say we're given one big parking spot as like the initial value, one medium parking spot, and zero small spots, kind of just like the first example here. We can know, given a big car in the add car method, if we have enough space just by taking that value and minus one, which will give us the appropriate index, the way we kind of set up this array, two minus one will map to here, and three minus one will map to here. So that's a very easy way for us to know if we have enough space. And every time we add a car, we basically decrement the value and return true. But if we were not able to add the car, like if we try to add a small car, we don't have enough space. So in that case, we would return false. So not a super crazy problem. I guess this is a freebie after going through a couple hard problems the last few days. So now let's solve it. Like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is in the constructor, we're given some spaces, which I'll call spaces, and then set big in the zeroth index, medium in the second index, and small in the last index. And then given a car type, we want to know, do we have enough space for it? Well, how do we check given the car type? Well, we just take the car type minus one and we want to know is the number of spaces in this spot greater than zero if it is we want to return true if it's not we want to return false but not until we actually update the spaces so we'll say in this case spaces of this car type minus one is going to be decremented by one so that's the entire code. Now let's run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does. And it's about as efficient as you can get. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. It has a ton of free resources to help you prepare. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.